Hi guys, Belle here. Um, I'm coming on to work on week 44 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. If you do not know by now what the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge is, Marguerite Miller creates a 52 week challenge where every week she'll either give you a set of five prompts with a sixth prompt that you can place one of the other prompts with if you haven't got those bits and pieces or she gives you a themed prompt and you basically take the bits and pieces or the theme and create a collaged piece um, either page or artwork around it. I will leave the links to her channel and her shop down below. So we are on guys week 44 and this was week 43. It was simple, came together really quickly. Not my favourite page but it does the job. So week 44 because um, the Monday fell on because my Margaret Miller videos normally go up on a Monday but um, not this week. Anyway, because uh, it fell on Halloween, I decided to go with a bit of a Halloween look. And if you are following my October Daily this year, you will know that my October Daily, I've gone full grungy kind of Victorian Tim Holtzy. So I thought it would be fun to do a bit of a brighter, fun um, uh, Halloween theme for this page. So something that begins with a V of... Um, Bayer. We have a game piece or a puzzle piece. Well, I have this little um, collection of bingo cards that are um, vintage. And there's an orange on there. So I thought that would work quite well, the orange with the theme. Translucent paper, such as uh, tracing paper, vellum tissue paper. I've got some of this tea dyed vellum uh, tracing paper that I've done. And you can see it's been used because it's ripped at the bottom. I thought that would work perfectly. A flag. So for the flag, I have got this... Um, I think it's from 1977 and it's quite funny actually because the foreword is by uh, Professor Asa Briggs and I remember having to read a lot um, of about him when I was at university doing my history degree. Anyway, by the by, I've got this whole page full of flags. So again, I think this is from 1977. So, uh, yeah, 1977. Um... So I was thinking I might cut out the Irish flag because it's got green and orange and white. I'm Irish. Uh, just going for Halloween colours. And yeah, so that's a flag. Something that jumps. So I have these die cuts of little frogs. I thought they'd work brilliantly. And a repeating pattern. I pulled out this from one of the new little mini Halloween pads that I picked up because it's a repeating pattern. And then I just have a few extra little bits and a ha happy Halloween sign just to be going on with. So let's get started. I already know that I kind of want to put this down on here. It needs trimming down that edge. So I'm just going to tear it because I want it to have a bit of a torn edge. So I hope you are all okay. Hope you had a lovely Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. Hope you had a lovely Samhain if, like me, you celebrate Samhain. Um, and if not, I just hope you had a lovely Monday. <laughs> if none of that is something you do. So I like that. And I'm just going to ink using my Distress Ink Black Soot for this. Been using this a lot. I think I'm going to have to re-ink it. Oh, just got it on my finger. So, yeah. Oh, the weather today. I tell you, it's been so dark. It still is very dark. Raining. And then I saw some blue sky and sunshine coming out. And I had to film this. And it was like, ah, quick, get out and film it while you can. Um, so, let's get that down on there. Because I know I want to get that down on there. And... There we go. I just want to get that down on there. So, yeah. So, I hope you had a lovely time. I am behind on filming and crafting because um, last week was not a fun week for us in any shape or form. 
we recently over the last um, I'd say five weeks have lost two family members um, both extremely unexpectedly one was extremely young uh, well I say extremely young he was in his early 30s um, and it was yeah uh, anyway we had both funerals last week so as you can imagine um, it was a lot going on last week so I kind of want him there I'm not going to put him all the way to the bottom um, because I don't want to but I was thinking I want the tracing paper over him so I was wondering I've got these bits that are already inked up that are kind of like writing that might be quite fun to kind of do a little bit and kind of have him up a bit more I've still got to use the um, let's get that off the bingo piece which could, how about we do this, how about we have the bingo piece down, and it actually says uh, 31 on there, well it says 9131, but I like to think of it as 31, so what I could do then is, I've also got this piece here, how about I just cut this bit straight? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you make me laugh. So, yeah. So, it was a hard week last week. And um, not one that I want to be repeating any, any time soon. Um, so, yeah, I got behind. And then, because it was a big family thing, I had... Um, my two children who don't live at home came to visit because obviously we were all going to the funerals um, or the funerals late. So they have been here a lot of last week too. Um, and then it was Halloween slash Samhain. Um, and so I've just had no time to film anything. And I haven't really been in the mood for craft and we've been spending a lot of quality time as a family, um, just kind of coming to terms with everything and, um, you know, it makes you think, doesn't it? It really makes you think. So, uh, yeah. So I'm behind, but there we go. These things happen and there are things more important. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of collage that bottom bit, a little bit with those bits of writing that are just from a digital that I had that I've been using in my October daily. So I'm behind in my October daily too. Um, so that will be coming later this week. I know we're in November. But I know a lot of you who do watch the October Daily won't mind because, like me, you like Halloween-y October stuff all year round. So there's that. My repeating pattern and my, uh, I suppose, game piece. Well, it is because it's bingo and that's a game and that's a piece you need for bingo. Um, so, yeah, that's down there. And then let's just ink him up normally I'd rip and tear him but I don't really mind that I'm not this time but anyway let me know what you guys have been up to <laughs> hopefully you've been having a much better week than me to be honest although that was obviously awful um it was also nice just having my kids home and getting to see them and getting to spend some quality time with them in amongst everything else um and you know Spending time with family is always super important. Um, so even if it's under sad circumstances, you've got to try and make the best of the situation. I'm going to bring him down a bit. So I want that there. I don't know where I'm going to put my flag yet. And then I kind of want to stick the vellum there, I'm going to edge the vellum a little bit. 
so yeah let me know what you guys have been up to as I said I know not everyone celebrates Halloween um, for whatever reason but it is the um, one of the most important times of the year for me so um, yeah stick this down this glue does dry clear so I'm not worried that it's going on white right now it does dry clear most of the time and if it doesn't oh well <laughs> it's my collage in my book so thankfully <laughs> no one else has to um worry about it so, um, I'm hoping Marguerite Miller's doing this again next year because I'm definitely going to do it again. I've just really enjoyed, you know, having a bit of a different challenge. And um, I had these two, the Tim Holtz gravestones. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh yeah it's just been nice having a bit of a different challenge every week and also it's been great kind of using my stash and using things that i probably would never use in my crafts um i'm sorry if it's a bit dark today there is sunshine i can see it <laughs> um but yeah it's been fun so let's get this out and let's get this little flag Trust me, at least it's the easy one because I can go here. So this is actually the Republic's flag, but it doesn't matter to me um, because I'm using it because it's the green and the orange and there was no green, orange and black ones. Um, and this, this hasn't got any green on it at the moment. It's got a lot of orange and purple. Um, but it will have more green when the frogs are on there. So, that's why I went for it, even though it doesn't look like a flag right now. But I know that it is. I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. I think I want the Happy Halloween kind of across here, because we've got Happy Haunting and Happy Halloween might be nice there. So let's just put that on. So we've got something that begins with V translucent repeating pattern game piece flag something that hops which i still have to put on okay so let's do that so yeah i'm really hoping she does do it next year because i've just really enjoyed it and it's been fun doing something a bit different and I can get very, I don't know what everyone else is like when you're crafting, I can get very kind of focused on one particular project and it overtakes me and then I get exhausted um, or just kind of a bit fed up of it. Um, and also I tend to make a lot of journals. So if I've been making lots and lots of journals... I get journaled out as it is kind of like that it looks like it's jumping out of the way of him and then those two could go down there and then maybe the flag go here instead or there I kind of like the flag there so that's what we're going to go for um yeah so it's just these Marguerite Miller collages have been a fun way to um break up my crafting in a sense uh yeah it's just been good for me although i really do want to do the 100 day challenge last year i wanted to do it this year and i just it's not been a good year <laughs> so between one thing and another and not being able to work out what project i wanted to do um so i would like to do that next year but again it's Figuring out a project that I want to do. 
that I want to do for 100 days. I know sometimes people do like 100 pieces of ephemera. I have got a video on here where I actually used um, two inch squares and did art on those for the 100 days. And it was nice and simple and quick to do. And um, yeah, it worked for me, but I think I'd want to do something different this year. Anyway, so I think we're basically done. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So let's look. Something that starts with a V, my vampire. A game piece, we've got bingo down here in orange. Translucent light tracing paper vellum, so that's translucent. You can see some of the glue, but it will dry. It probably looks worse on camera. Um, a flag down here. Something that jumps and bonus was a repeating pattern so yeah so yeah the the republic of ireland's flag works perfectly because it picks up the orange in the paper and on the vampire the white sort of picks up the white here and the green picks up the green of the frogs and it all kind of works really well together oh my gosh so excited that came together quickly and i really like it so that is week oh gosh week 44 next week week 44 five i try not to pre-look at them until just before um the day before i'm about to film so i get everything ready and then it's a surprise i have to find everything so let me know what you think down below i really like the way that comes out i like it a lot more than i like that one although i love the poem on that one um and yeah i will be back again with you soon Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know anything you want to in the comments down below. And um, hit that like button if you liked this because it really does help. And um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are safe. And I hope you're having lots of fun, crafty fun. Till next time, guys. Bye for now.